What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be answering the most common thing women face when we're getting ready in the morning. We look at our closet, we have a closet full of clothes, but we seem to always say to ourselves, Oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear. I will be sharing nine reasons why I think that you may have nothing to wear in your closet. So I'm just gonna go through them really quickly today. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys today because everything I'm going to be talking about is what has helped me get ready each day. Now I don't look at my closet and think to myself, oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear. Now I'm able to pull things out very seamlessly, very easily and put together outfits like that. So I really hope these nine tips help you guys today. But before we get started, if you are new here, my name is Ilana. I do weekly videos about fashion and lifestyle. Please consider subscribing and and turn on the bell so you are notified every single time I post and let's go ahead and get into the video so the first reason why you may think you have nothing to it is you're lacking the basics so something like a black and white t-shirt um, your favorite pair of blue and black denim jeans maybe a denim jacket a couple blazers if you're into that so having these few basic pieces in your closet are the foundation of your outfit so for example just having a basic white t-shirt you can really keep it casual with just jeans and a sneaker or you could dress it up with a blazer some nice jewelry and then some heels with that so there are so many different ways you can dress up just like a simple basic white t-shirt in your closet so just take a look in your closet see if you're missing any of those basic pieces so like uh, basic t-shirts some jeans maybe a few uh, staple outerwear pieces if you guys would like me to do a separate video all about basic pieces just hit the like button and I'd be more than happy to do that but go ahead and just take a look in your closet see if you are missing any basics because that could be the reason why you have nothing to wear so the second reason why you may have nothing to wear is because your closet is full of way too many trendy pieces and trendy pieces I know they're so fun to play around with and dress up and just try different things I know it's so much fun but sometimes we have way too many trendy pieces it becomes harder to style so just simply take a look at your closet um, see if you have too many trendy pieces I know a lot of them can be really cute but you know let's be practical sometimes these trendy pieces are really hard to wear or style um, so just take a look see if you have too many trendy pieces if you do uh, maybe consider buying some more staple pieces like basics like we just talked about so make sure you have the core foundation and then you can start playing around with trendy pieces also just recently did a video all about spring trends all about wearable spring trends so I'll link that video in the description box below it's a really good video if you are thinking about buying some trendy pieces but they're wearable and they're practical and they'll last you for years so I made a video all about that I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested in watching reason number three why you may have nothing to wear this is probably my favorite point but it's your clothes don't fit you properly so a lot of times we settle for let's say a t-shirt or a shirt blouse that we look at it and we're like oh my gosh this is so cute and then we put it on it doesn't really flatter us in the proper way I mean I know this by experience I have had to get rid of so many of my clothes because I actually really like the piece but it just didn't flatter my body shape it didn't fit me properly so we end up wearing it maybe a few times but then it kind of just sits in our closet we look at it we're like oh this is so cute I want to wear it but it doesn't flatter us in the right way so we don't really grab it as often because when we wear clothes we want to feel our best we want to feel like a boss woman I mean right really try to figure out what your body type is are you more of an apple shape a pear shape or do you have more of an hourglass shape and look up ways to properly dress your shape as well because this will make a huge difference when you pull out clothes in your closet because whenever we wear something we want to feel our best in it we don't want to put on something that makes us feel kind of like bleh so um, I encourage you guys just figure out your body shape and then figure out what types of clothing flatters that specific body shape so the next reason why you may have nothing to wear is because we have too many clothes a lot of times we have nothing to wear is because we don't really see what we can wear it's buried all under a bunch of clothes so I can't tell you how many times I discovered new clothes buried a bunch of crap that I can't even see and I look at it, I'm like oh my gosh I actually really like this piece and I could have worn this so many times but I didn't because it was buried under a bunch of clothes so I highly suggest do a massive closet clean out just be ruthless I mean just get rid of anything and everything that you haven't worn in one year reason why I say one year is because if you really like the item you would have worn it uh, before the one year mark and the second reason is because you give that piece of clothing four seasons out of the entire year and you give it a chance to be worn so if it hasn't been worn um, for an entire year I highly suggest 
get rid of it, donate it, give it to somebody, maybe sell it on Poshmark. Once you just pull out all the stuff, then you'll make room for new things, fresh things, and then you'll kind of almost have like a fresh start when you start building your wardrobe into something that you absolutely love. So the next reason is you keep buying the same items. So I know when we're shopping, we are drawn to similar or the same things. We have a certain style we stick to, but if you have like five black sweaters, then maybe you don't need to buy another one. Try not buying the same types of things uh, because that could be the reason why we don't have anything to wear because it kind of all just blends together and starts to look the same. So the next reason why you may have nothing to wear is because you're buying clothes that you don't absolutely fall in love with. I mean, whenever I go shopping, in order for me to purchase an item, I have to completely fall in love with it. So my point is, do not settle. So if you're looking at an item and you're thinking to yourself, well, this is okay, I'm gonna get it, don't buy it. Do not buy clothing unless you completely fall in love with it. Make that rule for yourself when you go shopping. I always make this rule. Yes, shopping is a little bit slower and building your wardrobe is a little bit slower when you use this technique, but it seriously works, guys. Now, when you start building off of things that you absolutely love and you have to wear them, then instead of looking at your clothes and you're like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what to wear, you'll be like, oh my gosh, there's so many cute clothes. I don't know which one to pick because there's so many cute outfits I could wear. So you want to go in that direction rather than the other directions. Just do not settle. The next reason why you may have nothing to wear is uh, you don't understand your style. A lot of times we don't have anything to wear is because there are so many different styles out there we don't really understand our style. So, I mean, are you girly? Are you chic? Are you classic? Are you bohemian? Are you edgy? Rocker? There's so many different styles out there so you have to identify what style you're most drawn to, what you like to wear, what makes you feel really good in. I struggled for so long not knowing my personal style, so I did this one little technique that made a world of a difference, and it's you go into your closet, you pick out 10 things that you cannot absolutely get rid of. Maybe it's a few tops, maybe it's a blazer, maybe a couple pairs of shoes, some jeans, and really look at those items and identify what style are these items. Are they simple, edgy, classic, bohemian? What are they? And then you can kind of start understanding and figuring out your style from there. Maybe you're a combination of a few different styles. So for me, I'm a combination of chic, classic, and girly. It may be different for you, but go ahead and give this little technique a try. I think it'll make a world of a difference for you guys. Next reason why you may have nothing to wear is your closet isn't organized. So along with doing a ruthless clean out, you want to make sure you color coordinate by different types of tops, uh, sweaters and all, and make sure everything is organized. So for example, my closet is organized by sleeveless tops to short sleeve, long sleeve sweaters, cardigans, jackets, and I have it organized by color in those categories as well. So a lot of times we may think we have nothing to wear is because it's kind of unorganized, it's not very pleasing to the eye. So go ahead and give that a try. So along with doing a ruthless clean out, make sure you organize everything and keep it organized too. So if you're going to wear a top and you're done wearing it at the end of the day, make sure you put it back, make sure it's nice and neat and tidy so it doesn't eventually develop into this crazy big mess. So in the beginning, we just talked about not having the basics. Now for my last point, I want to quickly go over that you may have too many basics. So sometimes, you know, we get into having these basic pieces that we love them so much. We we know we keep wearing them all the time, so we keep buying more of them. But sometimes we get a little bored from our closet. We may have nothing to wear. It's because we're not exploring. We're not being adventurous. We're not being fun. So along with having enough basics, you don't want to have too many basics, but then you also don't want to have too many trendy pieces. Really see what your closet is lacking, what it has too much of, and try to build off of that using all these tips I gave you today. And guys, fashion is supposed to be fun. We're supposed to try different things, wear things that we absolutely love. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up so I can make more of these for you guys. I'd be more than happy to. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty much every single day. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.